So this is uh, what you'd expect to see in the Windows world. Now if you scroll back, what's happened is as you download and install APKs, they show up on your metrics, sorry, your modern tiles. So um, from an end user perspective, again, that seamless integration, like, hey, I just finished doing all my productivity, finished my PowerPoint, my spreadsheet, sent my email. Whew, now I want to kick back and I want to play Angry Bird Space. So bam, I click the icon. This kicks you um, into this virtualized OS environment. And now it brings up the Angry Birds Star Wars space. So go ahead and play a little bit, Chris, if you want to. And what you can see, sort of on the bottom, this is your typical kind of Android icons, right? There's your home screen. And, Pick their application. Go ahead and uh, hit the home screen if you could. So you see the game running. Um, this is an Android home screen. Hit Play Store. Now you can go off to Play Store. If you put in your Google account, it'll actually link with the other devices. So you know, if I link it, it's all the applications I have on my other devices. It can be on my phone. There's also a cloud sync capability. So if someone sends me a text message to my phone, I can see it on my PC. So really tried to bring. Android applications capabilities into my Windows world. Go ahead and do the uh, shrink down here if you could. You can see it at the uh, full screen, oh, 720p. Um, at higher resolutions, you can actually have this as a separate window uh, floating around on your desktop. It's taking up the full resolution here. So again, bringing all the Android capabilities, applications, experiences onto your AMD PC. I would show you a comparison of this, but the other guys don't have it. 